I just had my quarterly liverwurst sandwich, so I'm feeling a bit snoozy, but I think we can get through this. Nonetheless, today we are doing, we haven't done an Alice in Chains song in a minute, so today we are doing <laughs> for Mamka Tvoya, Skylar McKay, and The Chronicle. Two of these three requests were for the acoustic version. Now they are basically identical, it doesn't matter, but since the acoustic requests won out, I will be on the acoustic guitar, and here we go. All right, the riff. The riff is easy, it's awesome. First of all, detune your guitar, that means all the strings go down one half step. If you don't know how to do that, I will probably put the link to that video in the description. Okay, the riff is simple. Open E string, and then a string second fret, and then open E string, and then A string third fret, and give that a bend slowly and steadily up. So, now that's pretty interesting because we have an E and we have a B, that's E and E's fifth, that's a power chord, so here we have a sharp fifth. It's a uh, it's the opposite of a flat fifth, which is what Dean likes to use so much. Where here we go. I assume Jerry wrote this riff, although Lane is the one playing it in the uh, in the in the live versions, and Jerry's playing well in the acoustic version. He plays. I was surprised to find out an E major in the back there on the album version. It's just an E power chord. While this is going on. But that's just such a sinister sounding note there. You'd expect the more sinister E minor to be the thing in the back, but surprise, either E power chord or E major. <laughs> then, of course, we go and that's just an F power chord. First fret of the E string, third fret of the A and D strings down to E. That's open two, two. And then bend and wiggle, wiggle the fifth fret of the E string. So like bend it and then wiggle it. Wiggle. And then back into the riff. And the chorus, I guess we'd call it the chorus. I think it's just power chords. Uh, I think it's just, I'll wager a guess for the majors and the minors, but let's do it as power chords first. A, so it looks like I'm playing an A power chord, but I'm really not playing the, the B string. So we only have open A, D, and G2, and that makes it a power chord. A, B, which is two, four, four, and then F sharp, just towards the ceiling. G up one fret, back to A, B, and E. And then you do your five wiggles, not wiggles. Five, your three wiggles, not wiggles, on the fifth fret of the E string. So, A, B, F sharp, G. A, B, E. Bow, bow, bow. A, that's a fun to try to get back there real quick. And I think if I had to guess, I don't think they're playing chord chords, but I'd guess A major, B major, F sharp minor, G, A, B, and E major. So in case you're playing by yourself and you want to flesh, flesh it out a bit more, you can play the major and minor chords there. That was really good talking and playing at the same time. I get a sticker. And that's it, just those three pieces to play all the parts of the song, but we gotta talk about the solo. The solo in both the album and the acoustic live versions is in E minor pentatonic with the notable addition of the blue note. What's the blue note? Here's the blue note, ready? Regular E minor pentatonic, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. 12, 15, 12, 15. The blue note is located I'm on G14, 15. It makes it sound bluesy. That's why it's the blue note. Bluesy, blue note. The other place you can play that same blue note. I'm on A14, A13. 12, slide down to 10, bend, A12, 10, land on E12 on your root. 
you hear that in all of the acoustic solos that I heard that particular move, you know, noodling, noodling. And there. The cool thing about the E minor pentatonic is that anything you can do here on 12, 15, and 14, etc., blah, 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 is also you can do on open, three, open, two, open, two, open, two, open, three, open, three, and then your blue notes are located similarly on the G string one fret higher than it is, right? Now I'm being reminded of River of Deceit, and then also the blue note, it's a flat fifth. Remember we said E and it's fifth, there's the fifth, B is E's fifth. So B flat is the flat fifth, and C is the sharp fifth, and now we've we've married Dean DeLeo and Jerry Cantrell, so thank you for the excellent request, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fun one to play, not too difficult, and uh, yeah, practice your E minor pentatonicking plus the blue note. Thank you all for being here. I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.